badgers. Look at all them coyotes. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up Bob, but first, I need to feed the goats, so I thought, well, shoot, while I'm out feeding the goats, I might as well do the intro. They're being impatient. I'm actually running a little bit behind. Today, Bob and I, though, are going to go around. We're just going to, we're just gonna do things. I, I think we're planning on going to uh, the dairy and shooting some starlings. We haven't done that in a long time, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, maybe look for some rabbits, probably not. Uh, we're also gonna be going out and checking my traps. That should, well, honestly, I have very, very low hope for that because it froze last night pretty hard and I'm pretty sure all but one of my traps is frozen and solid so not a high chance of catching anything today but I've been surprised maybe the stuff got out moving early and was on it before it froze so I mean there, I'm not saying there's not a chance it's just not as good of a chance as it should be so anyway that's sort of the the basic gist of what we're doing I'm gonna feed the, the impatient animals real quick and go pick up Bob so I came and I picked up Bob yeah, there's Bob and on my way to his house like just south of his house I literally drove in between a flock of crows there's some on this side and some on that side and there was like 30 of them 20 20 30 of them and so Bob actually has permission on the one side so uh, this has turned into an impromptu uh, imp how do you say that word impromptu impromptu uh, yeah impromptu we have you're decided- You're smarter than me, dude. You're way smarter than me. Don't ask me. <laughs> we decided we're just gonna go ahead and do a spontaneous crow hunt. See, I, if you don't know where you just pick a different one. That's that's how I spell all the time. Sure. Hopefully this will work well. So we got the e-collar. Um, we're just gonna go set out and see if we can kill some crows. Oh my goodness. They just, look at this. Um, What do we do? I don't know. They're, they're gonna see us if we move at all. They all landed in this tree, dude. Wow. So I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. Maybe they're curious of what, what we are back here. Uh, or that could be the tree they're roosting in. <laughs> I mean, look at him. He's so close. Oh, we could definitely shoot him right that, here, dude. That would not be difficult at all. Look at him. There's still more coming, too. Uh, we're in crow they're, heaven right now. They're dude. passing on the outside of those trees. What do you want to do? It's your field. You gotta call it. They're high right there. Look at that. You wanna kill the one? It is high. Let's see what happens. If we have any of them that get low at all. Yeah. Look at this. They're loving it. They're back. Uh oh. Come on, baby. Get low. Look at them all coming from your left. Oh, oh dude. This is awesome. I've never seen crows like this. <laughs> I haven't either. Hey, good Tells call. you how good we are at crow hunting. <laughs> good scouting. Wow. This might get in. They're just looking and looking and looking. This is cool. There's oh, a low dude, one. There's a low one. Oh, here he comes. Oh. Get lower. wonder if they're going to keep getting lower, you think? I have no idea. I, I am either. not a crow hunting connoisseur. But that one is low. Maybe this one. I know as soon as the first volley goes, it's over. Yeah, it's going to be over when the, when we shoot. Now they might be getting higher. -ish. Yeah, I say if we can get one, we let's get shoot one. It, yeah. Look at these. Look at that one. Shoot him. Ah! ah. We miss. He was high, but ah, we, we weren't had, getting anything good. We had to try. Uh, we are checking traps now. Crow hunting didn't go quite as planned, but uh, you know, we got to see a bunch of them. It was fun. Uh, but instead of a coyote, we got another possum. So we're gonna let this guy go, whether I like it or not, but uh, hopefully he won't come back and clog the trap again. Didn't have any foot damage or anything like that, so uh, we'll uh, let, him, let him go for another day. All right, buddy, be free. Run, or just play possum. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good at that. So, well, I'm gonna go reset this trap and we'll scoot on down the road and do the next thing. We have arrived at the dairy. 
There's baby calves. Should we go look at the baby calves? I knew one of you would want to look at the baby calves. Hi, what's your name? Yeah. I like you. And let me get out. Let me get you from your good side. Hmm? You want to play? Huh? Boy, you're a fresh one. Yeah. Please just don't make my hand wet. That'll make it extra cold. Whoa. Let me see that big old tongue. Hmm? There you go. Now, now you guys saw the baby calves. Or at least a couple of them. We're about to go shoot some starlings. If everything works out better than crow hunting anyway. And they, uh, I was too loud. Oh! oh. Okay. Well, we better shoot something. Might be a pigeon busting out of here. Y'all know the drill. <laughs> Let's push him. Want to push him? Oh, oh, oh! Didn't shoulder Hold right. On. You get closer. I'll stay out here. Sparrow. Sparrow, yeah. Anybody? Pigeon! Oh. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the cloud of feathers. Dude. That was nice. Oh, did you? Did you? No, I didn't shoot. That was that a was, retake. That was 100% just. Wow. That was an impressive cloud right there. Wow. Pillowcase that thing. That was not hybrid either. Nope. That was just a regular oh. federal lead shell. Yep. You allowed it. Good grief. <laughs> That was that was just unfortunate for him. Hold on, hold him up there. I'll film him. I can't juggle everything. Good looking bird though. Good looking bird. White tips. That's a good looking dairy pigeon right huh? there. It's cold. It's really cold. Uh, after that first shot on the pigeons, the starlings were kind of like, "Well, it seems kind of dangerous around here. Maybe we should head out." And so that's what they did. And so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we got a couple more traps to check, so you know, maybe maybe we'll get lucky and have something there. But it's it's too cold just to walk around like a bunch of idiots around a dairy hoping to shoot some birds that aren't worth anything. So, yep, on to the next thing. Hello, guys. We are out here the next day, and we are checking traps. Obviously, this set here, nothing. Now, don't get all excited. You can get a little bit excited. Nothing crazy though. Let me show you something that I'm excited and bummed about. So this set right here, I needed him to set right there. I needed that foot to hit right there. Right there and right there is where it was. But look at them. See how they're round and not pointy? I'm about 95% sure that we had a bobcat here last night and I did not get him. So that's great news because I would be thrilled to catch a bobcat. The bum side is, is there's not one here right now. But uh, I just want to show you guys, there's, there's a chance for something really, really cool coming along. So uh, I'm gonna rebait it, put a little bit different bait in it, and see what happens. So here's what I'm looking at. I think they've been running this draw here, and then coming up, and this looks like a pass under here to me. Pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but it just looks it just looks like there's a trail. I don't know, I think they come down along this and then whoop. I don't know. Obviously I'm not very good at snares. Uh, I haven't used them a whole lot. But the best way to learn, I guess, is to get it done. One thing that made me think about is there is some hair caught in these barbed wire here. And that's what really made me think. I think they're definitely using it. I'm gonna set it and see what happens. I was just gonna tie off to the post there, but I have some wolf fangs with me. Brought this here driver that I made. I'm gonna see if I can snare something. Uh, I'll show you the snare I did set. It's very similar, it's just the exact opposite side of this little draw. So, yeah, wish me luck. In case some of you are unfamiliar with, ouch, oh yeah, cables are sharp. In case some of you are unfamiliar with what a wolf fang is, these are what they call an earth anchor. So the theory is, is you load it onto your driver and then when you drive it down into the ground, you pull your driver out and you pull on your cable and it lock, pulls up like this. So you get a ton of resistance when you're trying to pull something out of the ground that's really flat like that. They're pretty good. Uh, you don't have to set them near as deep as you do like for say rebar or something like that. They work really effectively. It's just getting them back out is an absolute pain because they hold really, really well. So they're really good at doing their job and it just takes some digging to get them back. I attach them to my snare with these little quick links here because these are dispatch snares and it doesn't take a real long time and so they don't have to be super super you know aggressive heavy lock stuff so anyway that's that's the theory there and that's what I'm doing
it takes to set those. It's really, really quick. I really like them. I really, I, I really should use them more. There we go. I don't know if that's right or wrong. It's the best I know how, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let me grab my stuff and I'll show you kind of what I did with the other one. The other one's one of the new snares. I haven't got them boiled yet. And so it, uh, it's kind of a neon sign telling the coyotes, don't go through there, go to the other one. Here's the other one. There's a pretty good trail that runs right through here. And that's uh, where I put my snare. Like I said before, this is all a new game to me. I'm just trying to do the best I can. There was hair caught in that barbed wire as well. So I figure that's about as good as a sign as I'm going to get. Trail plus hair. So we'll see what tomorrow does. I'm really hopeful. Uh, actually, tomorrow I'm going to be checking traps really, really late. Uh, or really early, I'm not sure which. Because the Amish Coyote Roundup is tomorrow. And if you guys are ready to watch a rodeo, which hopefully I can film effectively, it should be interesting. The gist of the Amish uh, coyote roundup is there's enough coyotes in this area and they cause enough problems that every year they get together, all the Amish around here and some others, and we go out, typically we have 60, 80 guys, something like that. Everybody brings shotguns and we load up into trucks and trailers. And then we go out and we'll surround like a one mile section a one by two. What you do is you'll go and you'll have everyone get dropped off along the edge of the road and then when they give the signal everyone walks to the middle and just drives all the coyotes to the middle and then as they run around you shoot them. It's quite effective. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Here's the calves that we're trying to get protected here. The sheep are a little bit further down the road but here's where all the mama cows and the little calves are. The calves are a little bit bigger and out of the danger zone now, but the coyotes actually come up and bug this guy's dogs. Uh, he's had them actually come all the way up to his porch, messing with the dogs, chasing them around, you know. I don't know if they were playing, play fighting or fighting, but uh, either way, he's not super happy with, uh, with the wild animals coming up and messing with his stuff, so. That's one reason we're out here catching coyotes. My brother-in-law, he lives a little bit further down the road. He has sheep, and sheep are much, much, easier targets for coyotes so that's that's the biggest issue he does have a dog running with his sheep and that has really helped a lot but you can't always bank on the dog I mean the, the dog's less than a year old he's, he's just a puppy literally well as I was driving past my brother-in-law's house Otis hey Otis come here Otis come here come here you big puppy oh come on let's show everybody how big you are I believe he is an Anilowan Shepherd, if I remember right. But as you can tell, he is one big puppy. But anyway, I just thought maybe you guys might like to see him. Look at how big he is compared to the Festiva. Yeah. You wanna get with it? All right, Otis. He's almost as tall as the door. Good morning, guys. We are back out checking traps. I'm The reason I'm checking him in the dark right now is because I'm getting ready to go to a coyote hunt. But anyway, I'm back here checking traps. We set those snares yesterday, or that one snare, I had the one already set. Go back here, we're gonna check these, and I gotta hurry up and get to the, to the hunt. So, let's go. Look at this, guys. My first snared coyote. Uh, it's actually over on this side here, the very first one, my brand new snare. Um, I, that's, We'll see how good he looks. I haven't drug him out yet, but uh, let me do that real quick. Here he is. It's a pretty good sized male. I'm happy with it. Perfect catch right around the head. Got my snare set back up again. I am so pumped. This is the first coyote that I've ever snared, and I am really excited about it. But he's, he actually is a really good sized coyote. Really fluffy. Big old noggin on him. Good grief. I think I finally caught the one that I'm gonna tan. One, it's the first one I've ever snared. Two, it's a good big male. I'll come, I'll, I'm gonna think about really, really hard, but I really think that I might tan this one. I really, really do. Anyway, uh, I'm so excited. 
I know it didn't look like it before because I was worried about running out of time and being late to the hunt, but I have a couple more minutes than I thought I did. So, like, I can finally actually breathe a little bit. I'm so pumped about this. But uh, if you guys like this, hit the thumbs up button. I've heard from a bunch of guys at Snare that once you catch one, you catch another, and you catch another, like you'll catch a few in a row. So I'm hoping that there's more of them just using the same path. So I was editing up this video and realized I did not film an outro. So I'm filming one now. Uh, I am getting that one tanned. Just gonna go ahead and put that out there. It was a really big coyote. I really don't think I'm gonna catch a bigger one. It wasn't the best color by any means, but I mean, it was a solid central Kansas coyote. So I took it over to my buddy's house. Uh, He's my fur buyer and took a little bit of video in his shed. I'll try and take some more sometime, but he had company coming over, so I needed to sort of get in, get out type thing. After this, there's just going to be a little piece of uh, his fur shed. Not very much of it, just a little, you can call it a teaser, I guess, if you want. Anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one. Badgers. Look at all them coyotes, coons, more coyotes, so pretty, and stretchers full. Cool place to be.